You are probably here because you want to create a ManyChat flow, but the ManyChat flow builder is extremely slow. And that's why in this video, I will break down why the ManyChat flow builder can be extremely slow and how you can fix it yourself. Let's dive in. So before we are going to look at the different causes of why the ManyChat flow builder is extremely slow, let's first have a look at the problem. So currently I'm inside my ManyChat flow builder and as you can see, while I'm dragging the flow builder, you can see it's like lagging a lot. It's like I'm moving way faster than the flow builder itself. And when I'm zooming in and zooming out, you will see just there's just a lot of lag. And also when you're like want to add new elements, you will see like it's extremely slow and it's just not doable. And there are actually many reasons why the Manager Flow Builder could be extremely slow. And in this video, I will break down different solutions that you can use to speed up the Flow Builder. And it will start pretty simple. And over time, while we go further in the video, the solutions become harder to implement, maybe take more time, and we will just start with the easy ones. So let's start with the first one. The first thing you can check is whether you have a lot of different windows open and whether you have a lot of different tabs open. So as you can see inside my browser, I have like, like 15 different tabs open and you can see this, but I also have like a second screen where a lot of different tabs open and maybe you have like large programs like a Photoshop or an Illustrator or maybe a Premiere Pro or maybe some kind of game that's currently open. So what you need to do is just close them all, like close Photoshop, close these large programs. Also like close all the different tabs until you only have the ManyChat Flow Builder left. And then just need to refresh. And then you know if it's still slow, like the different tabs that are open on your computer is not the problem of a very slow ManyChat Flow Builder. So as you can see on my computer, it is still extremely slow. And that's maybe like the easiest check that you can do. If you have a lot of different tabs, a lot of different windows, your computer needs to process all of them. And when you have just less windows, less tabs, then your computer needs to process less and then the ManyChat Flow Builder can become faster. So the second thing that you can check is pretty standard, but it is your Wi-Fi connection or your internet connection. When your internet connection is pretty slow, then the Manager Flow Builder will also be pretty slow. So if you just go to Google, you can just search for internet speed test. And I'm always using Ookla. It's like speedtest.net. I don't know why, but it's also like the first one to pop up and it's also pretty accurate. You just click on go and then you just wait. Well, it's checking like the download MB per second and the upload MB per second. And I think in my case, this wasn't a problem why my Manager Flow Builder was extremely slow. As you can see, I have like 140, 150 MBs per second. And also for the upload, I think it will be like 70, but it just we just need to wait a little bit. So now the test has run and you can see like I have a download of an average of 100 MBs per second and an upload of like 30 MBs per second. So this cannot be the problem. But for example, if you only have like 5 MBs per second or maybe even less, this could be what is causing why the ManyChat Flow Builder is so extremely slow. And the only thing you need to do is like speed up your internet connection or have a better Wi-Fi connection and then it will be solved. Another thing that we can try is emptying our cache. So I'm currently in Google Chrome and when I go to settings, then I search for cache, go to the clear browsing data, and then you need to make sure that you're not on the basic, but you're in the advanced tab. And then you need to select the cookies and other site data, the cached images and files, and the site settings. And when you've done that, you can just click on clear data. But I already did this before and that didn't do the trick for me. You can try this and maybe it will solve it. You can just click on clear data. There you go back. You just refresh the manager flow builder. And if it's working, then it's working. And if this isn't working, we need to go to the next step. And that is look at the storage of your own computer. It could be the case that you don't have a lot of disk storage on your computer and that could be causing why the manager flow builder is so extremely slow so what you can do I'm currently on my Mac 
but it works like the same way for a window. So here I can go to my Mac icon, click on about this Mac, then go to storage. And then here you will see how many gigabytes you have available on your computer. And in general, I recommend to having at least 10 gigabytes available. When you don't have this, it could be the case that ManyChat is slow, but it could also be a little bit more, a little bit less. If you're not sure how many gigabytes you need, I always recommend contacting ManyChat support because they will often ask this question when you say like, okay, the ManyChat flow builder is slow, but having at least 10 gigabytes available should be enough to have like a fast flow builder. And this is how you do it on Mac. If you are on a Windows computer, you can just search for Windows disk storage on Google and then they will show you how you can do this so go to settings go to system go to storage and then you will see how many gigabytes you have available on your computer but if all these solutions don't work yet we also have another solution and this is a solution you will probably not like and that is switching browsers and in this case that actually did the trick for me so I tried all these different things that I just showed before. Those worked like in the past, but that didn't work for me. But when I switched from Google Chrome to Firefox, then all of a sudden my ManyChat Flow Builder was extremely fast. So I'll just show it to you. So I just use Firefox. It's on my second screen. I'll just drag it here. And here in Firefox, I'll just refresh. And then you will see like we have the same flow, but the flow builder is really fast. Like you would expect that this behavior when you're using the flow builder, when you're just dragging things and it is like really fast and like adding new messages, no problem at all. And that's pretty much it. Like I just switched browsers, didn't do anything and that's it. And we're still like, if we do this in uh, Google Chrome or just refresh, and then if I like do the same, like you see a really big difference. Like it's it's lagging still a lot. And here in Firefox, it is not lagging. So yeah, that could be the fix. Uh, just switching browsers. And I know you can be uh, attached to your browsers. You do have a lot of different settings in your browser. But this did the trick for me. So I'm now building only my ManyChat flows in Firefox instead of using Chrome. And even if switching browsers doesn't do the trick for you, there's only one thing that we can do left, and that is breaking up your flows. For example, if I'm in the ManyChat community, I see a lot of different images with like these large flows, like 50 blocks or 100 blocks, even more. They have these huge flows. And in general, I recommend to break up your flows. Like every flow should be having a maximum of around 30 blocks. If you have like more than 30 blocks, then you need to break up your flows. And in ManyChat, you can do that very simple by using the start flow block. So I will just show you how you can do that. And I already did this in my welcome message. So what you can just do is you can just add something to your flow, like the next step. Then you can select the start flow. And then you can just select a flow that you want to go further with. So let's say if we want to break up this flow, like this is a small flow, but just as an example, what you could do is like we could like grab this part of the flow. Then we just open the automation, click on new flow. I would just call this test flow. And then we can like what I did here is like I selected it, then I did a command C on my Mac, it's control C on a Windows, and then I do control V or command V, and that will be it. Like this will be the first step. And then instead of like using this part, I'll just remove this link. I will then start the flow and I will select the test flow that we just created. Oh, is it not published yet? So I just click on publish and it now is published so we can select it. And then instead of using this part in the same flow, we are breaking this flow up into two smaller parts. So we have like the first part here and then we have the rest of it here. And this could make your ManyJet flow faster. And again, in general, I recommend having a flow of a maximum of 30 blocks. If you have like more than 30 blocks, always break up your flows. And that's it. 
That's how you can speed up the ManyChat Flow Builder when it is extremely slow. If you have any questions on how you can speed up the ManyChat Flow Builder or any questions on ManyChat in general, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.